Every time that it gets uglier, every time that there's a new crisis, we are offered uh, a choice. Whereas when things are kind of going along pretty well and there's no immediate crisis, theoretically we have a choice to change, but the choice isn't put in our face. And we tend to just go along with things. Uh, same thing in the course of an addiction. You know, if your supply of whatever you're addicted to is is uninterrupted, you know, and 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 you're still holding things together, how many people quit then? No, it's only when they hit bottom, which means a crisis. But it's not just there's no such thing as bottom independent of choice. It only becomes bottom when you choose to rise out of it. If you do not, there's another bottom underneath that and underneath that and underneath that forever. <laughs> there are people who are smoking their last cigarette through their tracheotomy hole, you know, as they're dying of lung cancer. Like that, that happens. There's, we will never escape from choice. The crisis, the collapse is not going to save us from ourselves collectively, just as with the addict heading towards bottom, we have the same thing. When times are normal, we're not gonna change. When we hit a crisis, then we have the opportunity, but not a guarantee. We're shown unconscious choices. Choices that had been unconscious are shown to us. This happened during COVID. Where, where, you know, these trends toward isolation, toward social distancing. We've been becoming more and more distant already. The closing of brick and mortar stores, the, the migration of education online, of work online, of dating online, of entertainment online, of everything to this box, these boxes that we, that we look at all the time. Um, the, weakening of, of civil liberties, the censorship, all that stuff was already underway, but we got, to, we got to see it. Like it was put right in our face and thereby, oh, and the increasing technicalization of life, the increasing dependency on, on drugs, you know? I mean, I think the average American my age is on like five or six different medications. So, so all of that was, was kind of normalized, but we were shown it in extreme form. And therefore we were asked, is this the direction you want to go? Here's the future. It's separation to the nth degree. Do you want that?